got a big scrimmage tomorrow, and uh, you know we have just we went on shells. Thought we got really good work done today, and tomorrow's going to be a really big day because uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, you know live scrimmage and uh, a lot of evaluation of personnel like it is every day, but certainly in the scrimmage is kind of like a game day type atmosphere. So there's a little bit more weight on that uh, on that practice tomorrow. Is it concerning that you've got so many people banged up going into that? No, no, we can't do anything about it. So. <laughs> I mean, I can moan all the money, it's going to matter. The good news is everybody's going to be fine. That's the good news. What, what, what bothers you if you get an injury when somebody's out for the season? So, I mean, that's going to happen. But you're going to, if, if it, the level that we, that we play and how we practice and the intensity and what we do, we do everything we can to be safe in, in terms of how we practice. But you're going to have guys get banged up. It's going to happen. It's just the, that's the reality of it. The most important thing is all these guys are going to get back, and that's good. I I know you've talked about Marcus's situation a lot, but do you have a plan going into the scrimmage? How much, how, how you split him between those two positions at all? No, I think he'll stay at wide receiver most of most of the, uh, the, the scrimmage. So, and that's that's really those discussions take place uh, this afternoon uh, after our team meeting. We look at tomorrow's scrimmage, and then we, we look at, and, and and we go through every every personnel area and decide who's going to be where, who's going to get the number of reps they're going to get. Are they going to go with ones, twos, or threes? Sometimes if you get competition between a two and a three or a one and a two, you might divide divide them. They, they would go, a one and two would go to two half time and one half time. So we do that with every position, you know, and, and you know, we'll make those decisions, most of them, this afternoon. Worried it all seemed to be a little thin at safety and linebacker after some of the injury reports. Today. Well. I don't know. You, you can, can you guys pad up? You, you, can, you can help us, though. So you know, you can't, you can't do anything. Well, important, what I'm saying is the most important thing is that we can't. You can't do anything about it. You're gonna, it's going to happen, and you know, it's, we all know that. And uh, the most important thing, we're going to have my back. So, you know, I can whine and moan and groan all I want about the, those problems. But we can't do anything about it. The most important thing is get young players ready to play. If you want to know the answer to it, that's the answer to it. Get backup players ready to play, because it's inevitable. It's going to happen. By keeping them out too are you just trying to play it safe? So that they don't the medical staff play. makes that decision. Coach, when you're evaluating your players tomorrow, is it just to kind of see how they react to a game speed or something that's similar to game speed? Well, them? no, it's 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 more of a game environment because it's live and we're tackling. It's uh, you know every except for the quarterbacks and and uh, you know we play we practice pretty intense in what we call our 11 on 11 periods. But uh, you know it's it's a it's more of a game atmosphere. You know it's it's a, where you're trying to score all the time. It's every situation takes over on the field. It takes over in a game situation. And so, uh, you know, and, and we look at a lot of different things when we evaluate. We just look, don't look at the stats of a running back or a quarterback. We look at the teams that they were going against. And if you're going against the first and second uh, defense the whole time, it's a lot different than going against the third and fourth defense the whole time. So that grade might be really great, you know, but you have to. So there's a lot of scenarios that we look at in, in all those in our, our evaluation. And that's what I do in the team meeting tonight. I'll go, I'll talk to the team about, as I do every before the first scrimmage, what we're trying to get out of, what we're looking at. And we're looking for the, you know, the top five offensive line, then the next five, and the next two, basically. And the top 12 we're going to work with. We do that at every position. And so they know exactly what's out there and what's going on out there. And, and, uh, and I, and I think educating them, let them know how, how we analyze is real important, okay? Because a guy won't run in and say, I got a 90% on my grade. Why am I not starting ahead of the guy up there? Well, you went with threes and fours. He went against the ones all the time, that type of thing.